Okay, well, Bulletproof is a company that, uh, well, a marketing company that has wines from all over the, the world. We had a couple of really good things here from Washington State and uh, one wine from Alexander Valley. And uh, they've also got some stuff from Italy. And, um, well, the Seven Hills Winery, one of the wines we had, a landmark, one of the landmark properties in Washington State, established in 1988 by fourth-generation farmer Casey McLean. Um, Seven Hills Winery crashed high, uh, well, they do vineyard-designated wines and uh, Appalachian-inspired. They focus on uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and Bordeaux-style varietals. And, uh, hey, we had a wine from Bel Arbios also. That wasn't bad. But uh, the Arbios wine, you know, 2004 vintage, a nice amount of tobacco spice. Bill used to work at Leith Winery in the 80s, created some great wines there. He's went on to do some, do some consulting work, and now he's got his own label also. But uh, some nice black cherry and kirsch fruit on the nose, a touch of fresh earth and some herbal nuance uh, on the bouquet, really smooth. And drinkable style of Cabernet Sauvignon. Well, it's got a couple of years under its belt, seven years old now. A nice hint of spice and good freshness still in the finish there. All right, well, next up we had the Seven Hills Seal de Cheval wine from Red Mountain. And, uh, you know, Washington State's still one of those areas. You can buy vineyard land there for $25,000 an acre and make world-class wine. So, hey, maybe I'll move into Washington State one day to start my chateau. All right, well, this wine had some lovely red currant and black cherry fruit with a nice hand of fresh earth and toasty oak spice. The focus here really on the fresh currant berry fruit, though. Really nice and forward, smooth and round texture on the tongue with a hint of that sweet tobacco spice. Nice structure, but a little dry tannin showing up there on the finish. Uh, but a you know, pretty good amount of juicy fruit to mash. Really nice bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon from Red Mountain. All right, next up, the Pentad from Walla Walla, Washington. So a nice hand of clove spice here and cigar box nuance to the red currant and red cherry and plum fruit. Uh, blend of Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Malbec, Carmenere, which is a Bordeaux varietal that they found does very well in Chile, and then uh, Petit Verdot. So kind of interesting twist on a Bordeaux blend. The finish has uh, got this nice rustic quality too. too. Must be from the Carmenere there, echoing the nuance in the nose with a nice freshness there also, very well balanced. All right, excellent juice. Next up, we had some great stuff from Rodney Strong Vineyard.